Assalamu alaikum. Let's take a look at Tertil's new groups feature. If you go to your dashboard, you'll be able to see any groups that you already are a member of. If you're not a member of a group yet, then you'll see the option to create or join a group. However, you'll also be able to dive deeper in groups by selecting the community tab. Here, I can decide to join a group, create a group, which we'll look at in a second, any existing groups that I'm a member of, and in the global group leaderboard. To understand groups a bit more, let's dive into my freshly grounded group. So here's a group that I created. It's a public group, meaning that anybody is able to join it with the link, as opposed to a private group, which can only be joined by people that I invite. This is a leaderboard showing the activity of all of the members within the group. You can filter by engagement, so how many hours somebody has been using the Tertil app for, completions, which displays how many completions somebody has had in that Islamic month. So currently we are in the month of Ramadan, and so you can see the activity of Ramadan. The first number tells you how many completions you already have. So if you look at my username at number 9, you can see that I have zero completions. But then you can see that I'm 30% through my current completion. Once that gets to 100%, that will then turn into a number 1, inshallah. You can also filter by referral, so how many people have referred others to the group. Let's head back to the community tab. And here you'll now see a global group leaderboard. This global group leaderboard displays any groups that are public. So if you have a private group, let's say for example with just your friends and family, that won't be shown. However, if you choose to create a public group, your activity will be compared with the activity of any other public group around the world. Now let's have a go at creating a group. So let's say I want to create a group for my family. Let's call this the Chowdhury group. And I'll go ahead and choose the rocket emoji, because why not? We'll make it a private group, and you can add a description, Chowdhury competition. You can make it a bit more creative. Then you click create a group, and you're all done. Now I can click invite and invite my family to the group and we can start seeing each other's activity. This is great for motivation and for healthy competition. Now if I go back to my dashboard, I'll be able to see the Chowdhury group right there. So now you're all set to create your own group and build your own communities using Tertil. Assalamu alaikum.